Suppose that the probability it rains today is 30% if neither of the last two days was rainy, but 60% if at least one of the last two days was rainy. Let the weather on day n, wn, be r for rain or s for sun. wn is not a Markov chain, but the weather for the last two days, xn, equals wn minus 1 to wn is a Markov chain with four states, rr, rs, sr, and ss, meaning two days of rain, a day of rain, a day of sun, a day of sun, a day of rain, and then two days of sun. Part A, compute its transition probability. We'll start there, and then we'll move on to part B and part C. However, part A is pretty straightforward. We're given all the information in the first two sentences of the problem here. So I'm just going to write here, this is our P for transition probability. And this is a matrix. I've drawn it in a grid here, but I'll just draw some green lines here to denote that it's a matrix. But it says a transition probability. So all of these rows here need to add to one. So we just put that at the back of your mind as we go through here, and uh, I'll explain how I got each one of these probabilities here shortly. So let's start with the, the sunny sunny, um, just because that's the first sentence of the, of the problem here. So it says, suppose the probability it rains today is 30% if neither of the last two days was rainy. So here we've got day one and day two, and now this is going to be day two, day three, right? Day two, day three. Now note that if we have two sunny days here, it is impossible that it's sunny and rainy on the same day, right? So if this is day two, this is day three for this RR, it's, there's a 0% chance that, that it's it's going to be sunny and it's going to be rainy on day two, right? So this neglect, doesn't neglect, but cancels out those two, uh, two possibilities. So the only possibility we're left with here is that we have something that's sunny, sunny, and then we want it to rain right at 30%. So we have sun, sun, and then here, sun, rain. So this is our 30%. Now, remember that I said all of these rows have to add to one. So then the only other possibility, if we have three days of sun in a row, is going to be 70%, right? One minus, one minus 0.3 is 0.7. Pretty straightforward. So now moving on, it says, but 60% if at least one of the last two days was rainy. So here again, we have, we could, we could take any one of these. Let's start with SR, we can just move, move our way up here. Here's day one and day two. So out of the last two days, if we've, if we've, already, if we've already moved on to our third day, at least, at least one of them have to be rainy. So here we have both are rainy. So this is, this is 0.6. So therefore the next most, the most logical <clears throat> next step would be for the rainy sunny to be 40%, right? And then like, the argument earlier, we have two zeros in this, in these spots because it's just impossible to have the second day be rainy and then the second day be also sunny simultaneously. It just doesn't work that way. Um, well, sometimes it does, but here for this example, um, it just clearly isn't the case. So we can also write this out explicitly if my if my explanation didn't didn't fully convince you. So. The way this looks is that if we take, for example, xn equals wn minus 1 wn, and let's just pick something random here, rs, we know that wn has to be s, right, which is this right here. So all we're saying here is that since xn plus 1 equals wn, wn plus 1, right? This has to equal s and then something, right? Because we already have wn equals s, so then this wn here has to equal s. And now wn plus 1 can either be r or s. And this will actually come in handy here uh, at part C, so let's try and remember that. So part B says compute the two-step transition probability, which the two-step transition probability is just like stepping through that matrix twice. So 
if we want to step through that matrix twice and not actually do the multiplication twice, we just have to multiply. I mean, we're still, we're still doing some matrix multiplication, but we're not stepping through that two times to find two different probabilities. We can just do it in one step if we knew what the two-step transition probability was. So all this simply is, is P times P equals this two-step transition probability here. Now for part C, it says, what is the probability it will rain on Wednesday given that it did not rain Sunday or Monday? Now this is a little bit confusing. Do we need the two-step transition probability from Monday to Wednesday? Do we need a three-step tr transition probability from Sunday to Wednesday? So what I'm, gonna, what I'm gonna note here is that we're gonna say X1 refers to Sunday, Monday. X2 then refers to Monday, Tuesday, and then X3 refers to Tuesday, Wednesday. Now that being said, what we're asked about is Wednesday, not about Tuesday. So then it can rain on Wednesday, which means that X3 can be SR or X3 can be RR, right? Because we're not really fussed about what Tuesday is in this case, because we've only, get, we've only been given information here in the problem. What is the probability it will rain on Wednesday given that it did not rain Sunday or Monday? It says nothing about Tuesday. So Tuesday can be either or, right? But we know that our Wednesday here has to be raining. So what we're trying to find is the probability that X3 equals SR or X3 equals two days of rain given that X1, right? Here we're saying, they're saying it did not rain Sunday or Monday. So therefore, Sunday or Monday has to be sunny, sunny, which is X1 like we said above here. So if we go to our two-step transition probability, since we've said that all we need is two steps here, we can scroll up to here. And remember that this is our SS. I believe this is our SS, this is our R, and then this is RS, and this is SR. Yep, that's correct. So what we're looking for here is this X3 being RR or SR. So we're jumping from SS here to SR or to RR. So the two probabilities we want to add are right here. So moving on, this is going to equal P squared from SR to SS plus P squared from RR to SS. Excuse me, that's backwards. So we're going from SS to SR plus P squared from SS to RR, which we said was 0.18 plus 0.21. 0.18 plus 0.21, which equals 0.39. And that's how we get that.